Welcome to the podcast of Where Love Touches People. Thank you for tuning in. In this Let's Talk About segment, we dig deeper into everyday issues and the impact on our spiritual life. Hey everyone, welcome back to the Where the Love Touches People podcast. Uh, my name is Andrew, your host for this week. This is actually our only our second podcast. Uh, we're so, so excited to bring more episodes for everybody. And uh, in this episode, we're going to do a little light discussion and catch up with our very own Pastor Honey, our beloved pastor from Rock Brisbane. Welcome, Om Hani. Hi, Andrew. Hi, everyone. Yeah, um, so uh, today we're going to be talking about being grateful in a challenging situation. You know, uh, right now during this uh, COVID season, everybody is going through a lot. You know, uh, people losing their jobs and uh, businesses aren't functioning the way they were doing before. Um, but before we get into this deep, deep topic, uh, I just let's start a little light, yeah? Om Hani, um, what have you been up to during this lockdown period? Wow, Andrew, you want to know what I have been doing <laughs> during this lockdown period? Yeah, definitely. Let me think for a while. Let's see. Okay, I wake up early, pray, make coffee. Someday babysit my grandson. Some days conduct a Zoom meeting. Yeah. Uh, attend Zoom meeting and doing Zoom meeting. Do some grocery shopping, counseling, yeah. and perhaps reading and study and watching Netflix. <laughs> oh, wow. What kind of shows have you been watching, Omani? Wow. So, so many. <laughs> so many, yeah. <laughs> That's so great to hear. Um, it's really nice to be able to uh, stay at home and have spent some time with the family a lot, yeah? Especially, yeah, especially during this period. It's a blessing. Yeah, definitely. So... I'm curious uh, when you first received this topic from us. It's like you know, like what did you first think about you know being being grateful in a challenging situation like this? It's really hard to talk about, especially if people are going through a lot, right? Yeah, it's interesting, you know, when when I receive uh, the topic that you give to me is to be grateful. So suddenly, uh, this is this is what is pop up in my mind is like this. It's my opportunity to share God's goodness that I already receive. Yeah, that's that is the mind that you know I got it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's really interesting how how you say that because like, you know, the very um, the very uh, Christian way of looking at gratefulness is sometimes a bit different from like the secular way yeah, of absolutely. looking at it, right? Because yeah. you know, in the in a normal day to day life, people say like, you have to receive something first. And then you, and then you're grateful, but you know, and it's like often associated with like uh, tangible and worldly things, you know. But this mind, this mindset of gratefulness, it's it's mindset, like you Absolutely. said. Absolutely. Yeah, it's mindset. So like, what about the word the word grateful and and being grateful, you know, like some concept what people are thinking about gratefulness, you know, like. I think it's a uh, to be grateful is a uh, like this uh, is is a two ways responses yep. you know usually uh, people just to be grateful because they receive something and yeah. they just want to say ah thank you yeah you know? that's it you know but i believe you know it should be two ways responses you know yes you receive and you feel like you know thank you so much but there is something that you need to do, you know, mm-hmm. like 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 in in the gospel when you see Jesus' lives, you know, yeah. you know exactly that so many times Jesus gave thanks or to be grateful because his father listened to his prayers, and you know what he added, you know, this is I want to glorify you, Father. Yeah. You know, this is very important, you know, mm-hmm. because 
gratefulness, I believe it should be two ways action. Compared to the popular opinion of gratefulness, it's just, let me repeat it, it's, it's just like a thank you very much for what you are doing to me. Yep. And that's it, you mm -hmm. know, it stopped there. Yep. Stop with you, you know. Mm -hmm. But to be grateful is not stopping on you. Because it should be stopping on this person that helping and loving you. Mm -hmm. you know, let me explain the definition of gratefulness. You know, so you know about two ways responses, two ways of action is yeah. like this. This is this is the one that that I would like to share with you about gratefulness. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like this: communicating to others the precise ways in which they have benefited my life and this is very important looking for ways to honor them wow you know so yeah. not only receiving but you looking you know you looking for ways for honoring that person that helped you you know this is my life application you know this is my life application and I'm acknowledging uh, the fact that everything that we have you know, is the result of God yep. and others investing in us. You know, as we know, you know, popular uh, slogan is like this, no one achieves success alone. Mm -hmm. You have to understand that one. Yeah. You need somebody. You know. So it's recognizing that in ourselves, we have nothing, yep. that we are nothing, Mm -hmm. And that whatever we do, we owe to God, to our parents, yeah. to our family, wow, so good. to others, including the government where we live in. Yeah, that is so, so amazing to hear, Romani. I mean, it is really, really uh, interesting because we're, we're living in Australia, right? And yeah. Like, the the government and everything that they're doing you know with this uh, job keeper and uh, all those it's it's really amazing to be to be living in a country where it's where everybody is helping each other like earlier i was talking with coffee lip you know he says uh, support local businesses you know yeah, like these yeah. kinds of things uh, this quarantine and lockdown putting us uh, into a, a new mindset to be more aware of people around us you know like hey how is that person doing? How, what are some of the ways we can help them, you know? How is this local business that I used to go to wh where I get my coffee usually? Mm -hmm. uh, how are they doing, you know? like, And those are one of the ways in which, again, like you said, we can put it into practice, right? We yes, put it into practice, absolutely. yeah. Absolutely. So it's, that's, that maybe that's some of a practical way of doing the two ways and uh, the two ways that you were mentioning, you know? Like, mm -hmm. uh, what are some other, like, practical ways we can practice gratefulness maybe on honey or uh, the mindset that we have to take in other than that you know when when we talk about uh, biblical uh, gratefulness yeah you know I found in in first Thessalonians chapter 5 verse 18 let me read it for you yeah the scripture says like this in everything give thanks yeah for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you let me repeat again. This is very important. In everything, give thanks. For this is the will of God. Which one is the will of God? Mm -hmm. It's give thanks. Mm -hmm. You know, in Christ Jesus concerning you. So, so many people, you know, asking me, you know, what is the will of God for me, Pastor? Mm -hmm. you know, actually, this is written, you know, black and white, you know. Yeah. Exactly, if you give thanks, if you, you know, your heart full of gratefulness, actually, you are doing God's will. Mm -hmm. Because in this pandemic, COVID-19, so many people not giving thanks, but they are grumbling, you know, they are murmuring, they are complain here, complain there, yeah. complain the government. Even the government already helped them mm -hmm. with job seekers, you know. So I believe uh, we need to know, you know, the scriptures say, in everything give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. 
So I believe this is, if I want to give score, you know, about, about uh, gratefulness in my life, yeah. I absolutely will give, you know, score the top one, number 10 perhaps. Yeah. Because you have to understand about giving thanks, yeah. you know, about to be grateful. Because that is the will of God. Just in case like this, if we know that Jesus handles, you know, our lives, that's why, you know, the will of God for us is to give thanks in everything, mm -hmm. every season of life, including this pandemic COVID-19 season, you know. So to whom have to be grateful in doing God's will? Yeah. So this is very important also. You, know. you have to know, you know, uh, not only to God and that's period, you know, but in life, you know, one each other. So I would like to list this one, yeah. you know, which one that you should give gratitude or give thanks to them. Number one, you have to be grateful to God. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Because he is the one that loves us unconditionally, you know, when we are unlovable. He is still loving us. Yeah, that's so true. He gives us his abundant life exchange with our sins and transgression. Can you imagine? He saved us while we are doing sin. Wow. Yeah. That is amazing grace of God. That's why we should be grateful to God. Number one. Number two, be grateful to your parents. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah, Andrew. Amen. <laughs> be grateful to <laughs> your parents because we have to honor the sacrifices of your parents. Yeah. Just for example, maybe this one you never think before. Because I'm I'm grandpa now, I I know exactly you know. For example, your mother, you know, she was limited in what she could do or eat when you were in her womb. You know, she was limited in what she could do or eat mm -hmm. when you were in her womb. Yeah, that's so And true. she experienced even even a greater limitation after you were born. Mm -hmm. you know? yeah. Can you imagine? You should give thanks. You know, you should be grateful yeah. to your mother. You know, and your father worked hard to provide whatever you need until you take a responsibility to stand by your own. You know? mm -hmm. That's why you know I would like to uh, announce this one. You know, in in our community, you know, a new tradition. You know, when when your birthday is coming, you know. You don't expect people give you gift. But when your birthday you know, is coming, mm -hmm. you have to prepare a gift or gifts to your parents. Yeah. Because that is show you, you know, that you are grateful yeah. for you know for them. You know? Wow. So this one, number one is to be grateful to God. Number two is to be grateful to your parents. Yeah. Yes. Number three right now is to be grateful to your authorities. Mm -hmm. Authorities means church leader, employers, and government. You know, yeah. to the church leader first. You know, you know perhaps you never think about church leader. You know, they protect and give you guidance to your, the way of your life, you know. They pray for you. They serve you yeah. at any times of your need. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> like you, young man, you know, they marry you. You know, <laughs> if you stay here, I will marry. <laughs> you know, I will give a pronounced blessing. You know, they marry you. You know, they give you blessing on yeah. your marriage. You know, they bless your home and children. Even they counsel you when you are in troubles. You know, yeah. you can check that one in First Timothy uh, chapter five, verse seventeen. You know, yep. that's to the church leader. So second one, you know, to the employers, because they provide you with a salary. Yeah, they use your talents. Mm -hmm. They teach you know you about responsibility and tasks. You know, sometimes you're doing it with grumble, you know, you're doing it with half-hearted, you know. Yep. You don't want to do it right away. Because actually, you know, they teach you how to be responsible, you know, in life. Mm -hmm. This is very important. And good employer, they will promote you. Mm -hmm. So as an employee, we have to be 
an energy giver. Yep. You know. So please, if you work with one company, when you are in in job, you know, keep your eye yep. on the job, not yep. on the clock. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's a way of practicing yeah. <laughs> gratefulness, right? You know, don't learn and leave after they teach you, after they taught you, and you just leave like that. Yeah. Goodbye, you know. Yeah, no, cannot. You know, and mm-hmm. you have to have one purpose. This is one purpose to make your boss successful. Yeah. You know, this is the concept. You know how to be grateful yeah. to your employer, mm-hmm. and the third one is to the government. You know, that specifically. You know, we live in Australia. You know, we have to respect. You know, Australian government. You know, yeah, because they protect you. You know, they give you peace in mind. You know, on your daily life. You know, when when your 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 government. You know, wisely running their country. I believe. You know their 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 nation will be will be peaceful in peaceful and yeah. you know if 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 the nation in peaceful uh, state you know I believe the people also will enjoy yep. you know will That's so true. will will experience peace in that country mm-hmm. you know like government they practice their laws and order to handle issue you have to obey their laws and orders. When they announce in COVID situation like this, this uh, this moment, you know, to practice social distancing, yeah, washing our hands frequently, wearing masks, and stay at home. Do you know that they just want to eliminate, you know, this coronavirus as soon as possible without affecting your health or your lives, so you can go back to the normal, what we know now yeah. with the new normal. We have still don't know what what mm-hmm. is a new normal actually. Yeah. yeah, but the government, you know, this Australian government, they give us responsibility and task to bring safety around us. Andrew, we are doing yeah. what they require as a COVID 19 protocol. Mm-hmm. You know, we become aware with what we can do to save our community with being obedience to the government's rules and instruction. So, yeah. you know, I can highly recommend to anybody, you know, any listeners and you, Andrew, to follow this COVID-19 protocol from the government of Australia. Yeah. No question asked. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. It's a way, the way in which we live, you know, within our communities. If it's, if it's honoring the people around us, you know, it's definitely a way of putting ourselves in a grateful mindset, you know, how we walk into our jobs, you know, it, that's definitely practicing gratefulness, like yeah. you said, yeah, the the mindset in which we walk in, but sometimes it's just so, so easy to forget, you know, Absolutely. like, Absolutely. first our families, our parents, yeah, we forget uh, when we get to our jobs, you know, how, how the employers, they give it to us in the first place and hence how we can have a salary, you know? Yeah. It's uh, maybe definitely this this COVID season again reminding us over and over again of, you know, um, yeah, all those things, gratefulness must be taken into account. We have to put it, maybe it's definitely God's way of reminding us of the idea of gratefulness, don't you think, Om Hani? Yeah, yeah, absolutely, because uh, we need to renew our mind, you know. Sometimes, yep. you know, our mind just focus in ourselves. Yep. You know, so very self-centered. Yeah. To be grateful means you are shifting your focus yeah. from yourself to others. Yeah. Even, you know, you want to give something from you to other people. That is actually a life, yeah. lifestyle change. You know? yeah. If you, you can have a renewing on your mind, so absolutely your lifestyle will be changed. You know? yeah. Andrew, uh, before I, I leave, you know, actually yeah. I just want to share something that really changed my heart in this during stay at home. You know? oh, yeah. Because Definitely, this yeah. is very unique in my life. I never experienced this kind of situation in my life. But I try to cope, you know, I try to adjust my life. 
This is very important also because some of the listener also still frustrated with this kind of lifestyle, you know. Usually, usually, you know, every every month I'm going to Indonesia. Oh yeah, you know? that is so this true. Is, yes. This is already, I don't know, since February perhaps, you know. Yeah, yeah. I never, never go, even Gold Coast is... <laughs> you can you can account you know with this yeah, finger yeah. you know so let me uh, share something you know what i adjust in my lifestyle you know yep. and this is correlation with to be grateful mm-hmm. this is very important you know because i remember like this you know someone wrote wrote this uh, quotation you know he says like this gratitude helps you to see what's there instead of what isn't Mm -hmm. this is very important you know gratitude or to be grateful helps you to see what's there instead of what isn't sometimes we complain because we cannot go out we cannot traveling we cannot you know we cannot do more you know like like you know back in 2019 yeah but what I try to adjust my life, this is perhaps will bless, you know, others and listener. You know, number one like this, every day I wake up early. Why? You know, why I can connect this one to be grateful? Because I have people that wait for the manna from heaven. Mm. As you know exactly, every yeah. morning, every morning, you yeah. know, I share the message of God in my Facebook, you know. Number two, this is just routine, you know, the staying at home. House too clean. Yeah. <laughs> House too clean. Why? Because I know that this one is safe place. My home is a safe place to live. Yeah. For the people that still, you know, stay with me. You know. So I will make home sweet home. Mm-hmm. You know. Number three, perhaps this sounds silly, you know, but really i doing this you know to connect with the spirit of gratefulness laundry to do yeah can you imagine laundry mm-hmm. to do why why i have to say thanks if i doing laundry because some people you know hate it to do laundry laundry to do is to be grateful of god's profession hallelujah because God gave us, you know, clothes, you know, new jeans, new new clothes or whatever. We have plenty of it. Yeah. You know. The fourth one is cleaning dirty dishes. Because I'm glad still have food to eat. You know, if there is no food, you don't need to clean your dishes. You know. Number five, yeah. my routine is preparing message. You know, come to God's presence to have nourishment. And thank God that heaven never sold out wisdom and help, you know. I thank God that heaven is always open, their doors, you know. Yeah. And I'm doing some counseling, you know. Sometimes, you know, I, I receive call that from stranger, I have no idea. You know, they contact me through messengers, they contact me through my Facebook and whatever, sometimes WhatsApp, you know, and they call me. They share about their struggle and everything. You know, I'm grateful that still can be used by God. You know? mm-hmm. And at night, sometimes, you know, 10 o'clock, whatever, getting into bed tired, sore. But I thank God. Why? Because I'm still alive. Yeah. You know? So if you want to concise everything, stay at home, work at home, I still can give thanks. Why? Yeah. Because I have job and I have plenty time to grow my relationship with my family. You know that still stay with me. Let me give you one testimony. You know that really changed my life about uh, gratefulness. You know. Yeah. So perhaps this is just simple things. You know, I would like to give the message of smile. S M I L E. Smile. You know everybody can smile. You know, but there is a message in your smile. Mm-hmm. You know, a warm, living smile directed at a person says, "You are important, wow. and I appreciate you and what you mean to me." Wow! So yeah. you know what? You have to smile to everyone. Yeah. Because 
Your smile contains message. You know, if I smile to you, it means you are important, Andrew, for me. And I appreciate you and what you mean to me. You know, I learned about, about smiling this one is like this. A genuine smile reinforces any expression of gratefulness that you verbally give to a person. Yeah, so good. You yeah. know, if words of appreciation are given without smile, just in case I say to you, Andrew, thank you, without smile. Yeah. Do you know that the message which you are trying to communicate will be canceled out? Mm -hmm. The lack of smile forces people to focus on you. This is very important yep. because I found out this one. The lack of smile forces people to focus on you and wonder what is wrong with you or what they have done to offend you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. you know? Thus, the lack of smile communicates self-centeredness, which is the opposite of gratefulness. gratefulness. Yeah. So before I was saved, before I was saved, Andrew, by the blood of Jesus, my face, you won't believe it, my face was full of throne. But now, even I am famous with a middle name, Smile, you know, a smiling pastor. Wow. You know, when I went to Surabaya, I went to Denpasar, you know, sometimes yeah. people just smile to me, you know. I don't <laughs> know about him, I don't know about her, yeah. you know. But they smile because there is a message in smiling, you know. Yeah. So it's been a tough year. You know? It's been a tough year, but mm -hmm. I learned a lot about myself and I am grateful for that. Even we still don't know when the pandemic will be over, I just want to give three simple things. I hope you will remember this one. Trust the way, embrace the uncertainty, and enjoy the beauty of becoming. I hope this conversation will help us all. The Lord bless you. All right. Thank you so much for sharing with us. Uh, Om Hani, we're just so, so grateful to be able to uh, have this discussion and uh, to be given wisdom again by you. And it is so amazing how um, we get to share and how we get to um, be able to talk about gratefulness and the practicalities of it. You know, for the listeners that are watching at home, if you guys haven't met uh, Om Hani before, you know, there is, never a, there is never a time when I meet Om Hani and he's not smiling, you know, and that's really, really, again, comes back to the message that we try to live by and the message that we try to express to the people around us if it is the message of gratefulness or not, you know? And to be able to um, share like this and to be able to talk like this, it is definitely an amazing opportunity. So for those of you who have listened, I really hope you get a clearer understanding about gratefulness and you can start practicing the act of being grateful in life. Thank you so much for being with us today. See you on the next podcast. We are coming up every Wednesday, 8 a.m. So please check us out in your free time throughout the week.